Hello again. I thought we could try today painting another eye, but a dog's eye. So I've got this picture of a lovely black Labrador, and I'm going to imagine a square around that eye, like I did for the cat. If you didn't watch my video, you can just uh, tell me and I'll soon sort that out. So I've drawn my box around and then I've making it bigger so I'm drawing the box in the same proportions and looking at the angles of the eye and looking at that little triangle space like this could come down just a little bit more. Once I've done that I can see the pupil if if the whole eye was in a out of the socket it would be completely round. And that way getting the pupil in the middle even though it doesn't look you know, it's not exactly the middle because you can't see that bit of the eye. If you draw the whole circle and then the pupil in the middle of that circle, then when we get rid of those confusing lines and marks, you'll see how it looks just like the dog's eye. It's just getting the shapes in the right place. So I hope that tip, little tip helped. I'm also going to draw in the highlight. It's right on the edge of the pupil, in fact. So first thing I'm going to do is start off with the light colours. Burnt umber for the iris, a bit of um, Payne's grey, a bit of black, but I'm going to put a bit of cerulean here and just along the eyelid. So I'm going to start with the cerulean. While that's drying, I can do other bits and bobs. Just making sure it wasn't too strong. It will dry about 30% lighter. So don't be afraid to use the colour a bit stronger when you put it on first. A little bit of blue here, I'm going to soften that. Spread that blue and um, there's a little bit just above here, even though it's not quite blue, it, it is a, a lighter area and if I put blue it will just remind me where to go. Okay, so now I'm going to use burnt umber all around the iris. In fact, I can wet that, use that quite watery. Right at the bottom where the light comes in and it refracts. It's much lighter, so I'm trying to keep that a bit lighter. Watering the paint down, that would help. So I'm just cleaning my brush. Just removing a little bit to make it lighter at the bottom there. Okay, so I'm going to now use my black mixture. I've used burnt umber, ultramarine and black in there. And I'm just going to darken this area of, around the iris. Because the outside can be quite a hard edge, hardish edge, but the inside is quite a soft edge. Just around the pupil is quite dark as well. So I'm just cleaning my brush so I can spread this out evenly. So I, when I do this, I feel the amount of water on there. And if it feels like too much, I just remove a little bit so it doesn't flood the area that's still damp. Just 
just checking if that blue is dry that should be quite dry so I'm going to go for black in my pupil even though I can see a blue tinge around it you know when dogs get that sometimes I'm going to put the black but on top of that I'm going to put cerulean blue which is a blue which is quite can be opaque so it will sit on top and it gives me that blue tinge a bit here maybe it was a bit too wet to put that on there but I can just run my damp brush around it afterwards tidy that up just under here it's got a nice dark edge around the eyeball And on here too. Now I'm concentrating on the darker tones. Because it's quite soft around the eye, I'm just going to wet that, bring some water to the edge before it dries completely. That will just soften it a bit. And down here I'm going to put a watered down mixture of my black with a bit of cerulean blue because it's a nice pale grey down there. Again, I'm going to soften that area. And I can see the fur is going that way, so the brush strokes I make are put in the direction that the fur will be. Just going to go in with some dark of it just there. to use a flat brush now, a very thin flat brush. I'm just going to remove some of this paint, which I can see it goes into a different tip. If you get the tissue you can lift it off scrubbing and then tapping with the tissue. But I always clean my brush when I'm lifting paint so the next brush stroke doesn't put it back on. Again, just softening this area here. But I also need some colour on the white part of the, the eye. It's not completely white. So I'm just going to use what's on my palette here a, not quite a nondescript colour, but this bit of that, just something will just soften that white. Maybe a bit of blue, a bit of Payne's grey. I'm going to lift a little bit off here, I didn't like can move lines but just by scrubbing in that direction. I'm going to put some cerulean blue, oops, too much on it, back on there, which I had lost.
so I'm just going to tidy up the, the edges of the pupil Now I can see some burnt umber just around the edges of the pupil They do seem to be quite soft edges, so I'm going to run a damp brush beside them. See, it's, it's not dripping with water, but it's just damp and damp to soften that. Just damp enough to soften it. And on this side as well. And making sure that just here stays nice and light. I'm going to soften the edges of the highlight as well. Now I was going to put some cerulean blue on top of the black. A little bit of cerulean blue just on here which I lost. Okay. I'm going to use a bit of Payne's Grey just to darken the underlid here and a little bit more over here again I think this line just needs darkening a little bit more not quite thick enough The lid needs to be just a little bit darker and thicker on there. Okay, now I can soften these edges. So the question about looking at hard and soft edges. And just making sure you know to where your hard edges should be and where your soft edges are. A bit drip of water there. Okay, I can put that paint black back on there. There. I think I'm just going to darken him a little bit more here.
interesting to add a few more blacks now. Here's a black Labrador, but not too much. I've made up my own black. There's a lot of blue in a black Labrador. because this is just really to have an impression of fur not painting the whole Labrador still wet you can keep on putting it in there Okay, I think we're almost done. I just feel I need to darken this area a lot more because it's... it's Okay, I feel I need to darken this area a lot more. You can see in the pictures, in the shadow of his eyebrow. So, a bit of Payne's Grey. need softening with clean water. Just lifting a bit of paint which has got too much. So it's all about putting on paint and then taking it off where you think shouldn't be there just take it off you need to be patient so you need to clean your brush each time each stroke to take something off i think here i need a bit more highlighted I think that's pretty much it. I might just soften this area here with my brush, this stiffer brush.
can see just a little bit of a highlight just there, that's better. And I might try and remove a little bit more here to make it lighter. That's already giving it another dimension. Yes, I think that's, that's it for now. Any more little details of dark colours? I need to add maybe a little bit here, look. So. I think that's it. I hope you enjoy and I hope you have a go and let me know how you get on. Thank you for watching.